Well, an immigration protest sparks a fire leading to dozens of deaths in Mexico. Fox's Alexis McAdams reports from Mission, Texas on what led up to this tragedy. It's one of the deadliest incidents at an immigration facility in Mexico's history. At least 39 migrants have died and dozens more have been injured after a large fire broke out inside of this immigration detention center on Monday night. It happened in Ciudad Juarez, just across the border from El Paso, Texas. The blaze broke out in that dormitory that had at least 68 men from Central America and Venezuela. The president of Mexico says those migrants lit their own mattresses on fire, part of a protest against their deportation. Como protesta. When they found out they would be deported as a protest at the shelter's door, they put mattresses and set fire to them. They didn't think that would cause this terrible tragedy. This tragedy happened near the busiest sector at the southern border. The migrants who died were just some of the thousands waiting to cross into the United States. And this facility is one of many in Mexico that are struggling with overcrowding. That problem is widespread in Ciudad Juarez, where just two weeks ago, a thousand migrants rushed this bridge trying to get into the United States. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill grilling Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas about this situation on Tuesday. We are uh, climbing uh, out of a out of a backlog because U.S. citizenship and immigration services was financially devastated in the prior administration. You should be fired, but you haven't been fired because you were carrying out the policies of the Biden administration. The El Paso sector, the busiest crossing along the southern border with more than a thousand migrants crossing in every single day. Reporting in Mission, Texas, I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox 26 News.